I'm there. Chicole for less, I gonna have so no stress. Where the night all day to the okay. When I do the go flexi pay. Bills for less, go flexi Don't hustle with queues, bills, receiving or sending money. Chicole for less, no flexi pay. Hold it. She call it for less with FlexiPay. Dial star 291 hash to transact or download the FlexiPay app to get started. Stanbic Bank. It can be. Stanbic Bank is regulated by the Bank of Uganda and customer deposits are protected by the Deposit Protection Fund of Uganda up to 10 million shillings. Good guy. Mm. I've just seen here mm. that the bloody... Virus is back. I think you're looking for corona. That too, but the virus is back. Marcus, there's so many viruses. Which the virus one with back means what? Marcus, Ebola is back. Ah. We've got COVID-19. Oh. And we've got Mabag. We've got monkey pox. Which one? Which one of those has been disturbing the country and the world? Anyway, COVID. COVID is back in Uganda? Yeah, yeah in, the, in, the, in, the, in the world. But did even, you even, even, even chai, chai, No, the good question. Good question. But it's back to be a point of concern. China is on half lockdown. Hey, China. And if you check, check carefully among your friends. Out of, I dare say, six friends, one is sick. My friends? People you know. One of make, six? Make calls. So one, one out of every six? Is suffering, and they can't explain. They have gone, they have done checks, they have done whatever. Funny fevers, funny what? And you can't explain why. So if I count my friends, one, two, back. three, four, five. And <laughs> But I mean, if you've taken the vaccine, if you've taken yeah, yeah, the yeah. jab. It's not going to take you down. That's booster. my point. It's not going to take you down. So there. China is now, because I know China was trying to do this zero tolerance, no COVID. As in, if there's anybody who has COVID, back. Like two, two states are on partial lockdown. Of curfew, but you 6 see, p.m. You cannot do that anymore. The world has moved on. But you see, the thing is, China has got enough people. Yeah, for so them. So whether they put a lockdown here or not, but it hurts the people in that area. Yeah. No, but I, I mean, I don't think I don't think any country is ever going to do a lockdown. I think they just say, guys, the vaccination should have sorted you out. It has helped you with your immunity. Yes, you will feel a bit of discomfort, but nothing enough to say, as a country, we are not moving again. I don't think yes, we'll ever do that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't yes. think so. <laughs> So guys, just be, let's be on the lockout. I think your solution is, uh, is Covidex. <laughs> Do you still use Covidex? Like a problem. Every day? Not every day, but at least twice a week. Nosley, mouthly. Mouthly, nosley for howly. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> why, why must I suffer? Really? Mouthly. Mouthly. Twice a week. I also have mine. Twice a week. Twice a week. No, you every other day. That's okay. You're yeah. even better than me. I don't want any chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to be dicks. That's your evolution. Hey, Marcus. Oh, Bugalo for Marcus, you people. I am sitting next to a CEO. Marcus, oh. you're a CEO. I'm like, what the hell is this? You're a CEO going? for I'm like, I'm like, that's what this I'm like, where is this guy going with this conversation? Oh, yes, sir. For yeah. us, by yes, us. Sir. For us, by. For us, by. All of, us, all of us. My, uh, my association. association. FUBA. Yeah. That's basketball. Basketball. You're the CEO. Marcus, who did you lie to? Who did you lie to to get this job? Uh, Mr. President, you see what they are saying about you that you're easily lied to. Don't tell out. <laughs> no, no, no. It was, a, it was, it was a, an appointment. We did interviews. 
and I passed. So what does that mean as the CEO? They're going to make you play basketball, travel with the team. You know, you get those, give me tickets. To where? To <laughs> any game. All, all games. I'll take you for all the games. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll in the countries? Uh, other ones here local. In the local hey, league. Marcus, I'll take, I'll take... Marcus, I'm that guy. The Ugandan fan. Eh? Yeah? No, no, no. Yeah, so, so it means you pretty much run the operations of the association. So, right. Yeah, yeah. Like any CEO, you're the one in charge. But, 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 but does that mean you're going to be looking for dines? You're going to be... Yep, yep. Among other things, it includes finding sponsorship, um, asking government to help here and there. So, yeah. As we have Bas seen. Basically, help the sport grow. And that's going to say. Financially, yeah. structurally, organizationally. And of course, as we've seen, sports helps an economy of a country. It puts a, a country on a map. That is true. It can bring foreign investment into a map, tourism into a map. It, I mean, it, into it, the it, it does so much. It does so much. And I guess maybe this is how the, you know, the country is taking sports slightly more seriously. I don't yes. know. Yes. But that means, you also have shots and vests and basketballs you can give me. I can give you. Well, you, want, you want a vest of Uganda? Yes. Of Uganda? Standard markers. Like, Why must I have what? friends in high places if I can't If you can't them? benefit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want tickets, uh -huh. I want footballs, uh -huh. I want jerseys. I don't have footballs, but okay, basketballs, yes. <laughs> there's, there's a difference. Basketball, I'll get you one. Hey. Jersey, I'll get you. When we travel, we'll see. We'll get you, I'll get you discounted tickets. <laughs> I'll get you tickets into the game, you hey. travel. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Speaking of footballs and uh, netballs and basketballs, Hey, the balls in the World Cup have surprised me. The games are going the crazy. The Qatar World Cup has... Okay, so let me be honest with you. At the beginning of the World Cup, I didn't feel the buzz. Like maybe a week to the World Cup. I was like, mm, this is even a day to the World Cup. Yeah, I didn't just... feel it. But let me tell you, it has come with the malaria. <laughs> hey! It is a higgy hug. Mama! Everybody was like Qatar, we're not sure Qatar. First of all, the, the, the opening hour was A1. Was I don't know stuff. about the opening ceremony. That kind of bored me. Really? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. liked it. Did you see uh, it. Ghetto Boys? They actually performed for the FIFA World President a day before. Oh, really? The Ghetto Kids. They went and they danced and they performed. That was really nice. So we were Morgan, all... Morgan Freeman was there with his orator self. Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman has paid money. Of course, but that's his... You know he does for Qatar Airlines, the, 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 the plane. He he's, he's the world's best orator. He's the guy you find him in yeah. books, in audio books. Yeah. You know. he's, the, he's the Mr. Voice. Yeah, he's Mr. Voice. Yeah, so... But, I, I think it went well. And, and what, has, what, what, what has got everybody talking, of course, is the, the unbelievable upsets. <laughs> Those who were not yet sure whether they wanted to watch the World Cup now are watching every game. Because you don't know what is They are watching every game. Random games guys are watching because you don't <laughs> know what's going to happen. And it's a perfect time for us. Absolutely. You it. It's, you know, as if mid-morning. The mid latest game is 10 p.m. Enough time so for we you to So we even have lunchtime games. If the guy says he's going for lunch, Mbusimanyi was, that one is a liar and a thief. He's not coming back. If he tells you, to I'm caught in, 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 in traffic, a lunchtime meeting. Lunchtime meeting. He's a liar. liar. That guy is on... Kapapura! <laughs> the guys are money. Gwe! Argentina versus Saudi Arabia. Do you know bookmakers have made money? A lot of money. Made a lot, a of, lot money. of money. By the way, for them, they are good to go because for the World Cup. Nobody saw Saudi Arabia. They have been beaten 3 0, 4 0, 5 0, 8 1 in previous World Cups. Do you know there's a time, the time when they were beaten 8 1 by Germany? The guy who, got the, who made the one goal was got a, got a house. A car, whatever, whatever, whatever. The eight one, they were beaten. And to top it all off, Marcus, these guys played well. Yeah. It wasn't fluke. Yeah, they, they actually beat played them well. Genuine, genuine. Messi was in a mess. Messi was messed up. Bambi, but I'm not too worried. The, the Argentinians will recover. I think they'll recover. But did you see that second goal of the Saudi Arabia? Oh, <laughs> yeah, so they, they declared a holiday the next day. I mean, the king came out. Are you public holiday for scoring a goal and beating For a beating team? Argentina, you have to. For beating. Even us, if we make it to the World Cup and we beat a team like Argentina, Uganda beats Argentina. No, 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 no. For us, it will be a week. <laughs> you know how we operate in Uganda. A whole week of party <laughs> after party. party. After party. So yeah. 
They even gave them a car. Ah, 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 let me not, not just a car, Marcus. Mm. I want to explain to you what vehicle these guys got. I'm going to break it down for you. Mama, Nyabo, but Arab money is different. Eh? Arab money. They each got each, each of player, the players. Each player. Remember the 11 players? Mm. Maybe no even, plus the, subs. even the substitutes who are not on the pitch. Yeah. Also for them. They also, you get there in a A Pangarin MBS Kashi Rolls Royce Phantom Key Setai Penam Arab Saudi. Come on. How do you understand that? Each one of them a got Rolls Royce. a Rolls Royce. Phantom. Phantom. Each player. You can imagine what the coach got. Who knows? But the, that coach, that coach has, has, a, has a history. Has a track record. Has a track record. Should I put out his track record for you? Please. Okay. I know he has won two Afcons with two different teams. His name, Herb Renard. Mm. You don't just say Javier Renard. You, you say it with accent. Mm. You say it with a French accent. Mm. So, Herb. You're, so, you're, Herb. so your Herb. so your throat hurts. Herb. 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 Renard mm. won the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations with Zambia. Zambia. Won the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations with Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Leads Saudi Arabia to a surprise victory of Argentina in the 22 World Cup. Mm -hmm. the, Renard. I can't get the video now, but there was a video allegedly with him at halftime talking to those guys. Hmm. Hmm. Shouting at them. And immediately after all this hula balu, they were back on the pitch training. Now he compared but uh, the other one. Oh, oh, it's what are we doing here? It's been so many Salé. Salé. Hey, this is a pressing. Pressing doesn't mean you will go high. Mati, <laughs> last time, Ma Messi, at the middle of the pitch, he has the ball, you stay in front of the defense. Take your phone, you can make a picture with him if you want. Yes, you are in front of the defense, you have nobody, he's going to follow. With ball, you are good. Did you see what you did? Don't feel something here. You don't feel we are able to come back? You don't feel it? They play relax. Come on, guys, come on, come on. This is a worker. Give everything. When you are at the edge of the box, you are like this. Now imagine him what he's going to get. Arab money. Arab money. He's not going to understand. They're going to give him his own oil tank. His own. This is your small oil field. <laughs> you and your generation. Come <laughs> to, 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 to the K. Hey. Upsets continued, boss. Yeah. Japan beat Germany. Toyota beat Mercedes Benz. A bank on a beat Mercedes C. <laughs> Knocked a Mercedes the other side that it went. Way. The Germanies couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Japan? Huh? Yeah, but let me tell you, those guys are different. Those Japanese are special. After they win, the Japanese fans stayed behind and cleaned the stadium. Really? Those Japanese are different. Even at the beginning, the opening game of Qatar, Simanyi, and who? Eh? Mm. And who are they playing? Yeah, Qatar played against Ecuador. Ecuador. Mm. That game, the Japanese fans were seen cleaning the stadium. Now, they, you were like, okay, fine, it's who we are. And they, they, they interviewed the lady and she said, I cannot just leave that alone. It's not who we are as Japanese people. Japanese. Now, when you win the game, you have beaten Germany. Nobody thought you would. Even then, you stay behind. And they clean. Cleaning. For free. Free. Very stupid people. Oh, picking no, up Kasasiro. No, no, no. For free. In the Qatar, which has people to clean. Okay, they, enough have, money. they probably even have drones to pick them. <laughs> and then you go and you, for free. They said it's who we are. As Japanese. As people. The land of the rising sun. Ah, my friend. Pinky <laughs> <laughs> <Pinky> rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fantastic world. Hey. So far, yeah. I, I was thinking now I might buy a ticket. 
Now you might go MID. for the quarterfinals. Because hey, upsets are galore. Upsets are there, there. And since you're the CEO of a football. I, I, but I don't do football. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you want to go to an NBA game we discuss. I don't know anything about the FUFA and the FIFA. Anyway, that's good. It's, it's, it's also good for Africa. We have a Randiz ref. Yes. A female Randy's ref, female, the first female Randy's ref. Marcus, let me find this woman. She was, a, she was not on the pitch, she was a linesman, eh? She was a linesman? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Rwanda's Salima Mukansanga. She sounds Ugandan. Mukansanga. Mujakunsanga. Hey. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> From Has become the first African female referee to officiate at FIFA World Cup game as a fourth official. She has also officiated at the Olympics, AFCON, FIFA Women's World Cup, Africa Women's Cup of Nations, and CAF Women's Champions League. Wigamba, her CV is solid. Um, she's beautiful. Muja Kunsanga, well done. Mbaka, she's beautiful. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, good. Mm? Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just in case you think we are lying. Yeah. From Zambia. No, Rwanda. I'm sorry, Rwanda. So, <clears throat> I was. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Zambia, hey. the game against uh, Denmark and uh, Canada mm. on Wednesday night mm. Mm. was refed by. Refed, the ref, the guy with the whistle, was yes. a Zambian guy. Oh, for real? Yeah. The main guy in the middle? Yeah, it was called Sika Sikazwe. Sikazwe? Mm. Zambian. Sikazwe. 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 <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah. that guy. Zambia. Who's the yeah, so we're doing okay. Not bad, man. Africa's being represented, but have we won? Anyway. I know. But will we, will we win I the World Cup? I don't know. I don't will know. we win the World Cup? I, uh uh, no. But we'll go far. We'll go at least quarters. I think. Anyway, that's our hope, prayer, dream of the continent. Anyway. You don't, you don't have faith in us? Ah, uh, no. I don't. We, have you seen any African fans picking up a litter after the game? And you said those Japanese are stupid. I said they're stupid. That's what I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you said today was silly. The Japanese are answering dance. <sighs> but let me tell you something that you need to understand, and I'm going to give you this with numbers, figures, and facts. Mm. Kagwa. Mm. This is the most expensive World Cup ever in history. Not by a short mile. By 15 times over. Really. This World Cup cost Qatar $220 billion. Now, you might think that's just a number I'm throwing around. The last World Cup, which was in Russia, cost... So, so repeat that figure. $220 billion dollars. United States Of US dollars. dollars. Mm. So, that's a big figure, right? Right, right, right. But it's not that big... Until you understand what it cost the last World Cup. In Russia. In Russia. Which is not in the World Cup. <laughs> it cost Russia 11 billion. You, so, see how, you see how the silence is so loud? So let me give you perspective. Look at that graph. Jesus see, is see that graph. Lord. This is the definition of perspective. Holy See where Qatar is? Look at where everybody else is. All the other World Cups. In other words, Zigatezona. We don't even get to half. 220, Russia 11.6. Brazil 15 billion. Mm. South Africa 3.6 billion. Germany 4.3 billion. South Korea, Japan 7 billion. France 2.3 billion. These guys are 220 billion. 220 billion. Now, let me t give you the dynamics of these, of these figures. All that didn't happen in a year. That spend didn't happen in one year. They spread that over 12 years. Hmm? Mm. This spend has been for 12 years, yes, remember? Yes, yes. Because of COVID, it was cancelled, blah, blah, blah. So Qatar invested 10% of their GDP every year into this. So for the last 12 years, they removed 10% of their money. Where is this going? 10% going into? Because they knew the they were going to host. They knew they were going to host. Remove 10%? Every year, move 10%, remove 10%, remove 10%. Now, eight stadiums have been built. Seven of them are temporary. What do you mean temporary? They're going to go. Go where? Who cares? Only one, the Lusail, will remain post the event. 
The rest are temporary. Zigenda genda. You mean like you know when you go to a, a, a toilet which you put there for a meter? Uh, mobile toilet. Mobile, so it's a mobile mobile stadium. Zija genda. They will be brought down. To handle the influx of visitors, they built, still in this 220 billion, 108 hotels. You do realize <laughs> that everybody going forward who is going to host a World Cup is going to look stupid. It's going to look like a fool. <laughs> they built desert villages with luxury tents, plus cruise ships that sit offshore with floating hotels. I saw those desert tents. They are fake. Uh -huh. They are fake. They are very fake. They built a metro system that never existed before under the desert. Out of money. You guys joke. <sighs> ah. I hear there's one stadium. It's called st st uh, Stadium 9947 or 947 yeah. something. It was actually built with containers. With containers, they use containers and refurbished them. Yeah, and also go and, and, it's also going and to they said that one they are going to donate to a country of their choice. I think it was they, Uruguay. I don't know where they're going to put it, but yeah, they're going to remove it and reassemble it in another country. So now, boy. Yeah. Good evening. This morning. <laughs> 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 and please note, the total money that they expect to make from this is 17 billion. So this was not a. There's no profit. There's no pr zero. 220 17. But one thing I'm very bored of. You're giving me figures. You're giving me facts. Stadium is yes disappeared into thin air. You've told me about underground uh, uh, trains. You've told me about refurbishing. Two days before the World Cup markers. You see how I'm pouring my beer? You see how I'm pouring my task about? Mm -hmm. Freely, lovingly, mm. and wholesomely. Nobody is stopping you. Nobody is stopping me. In fact, people are envying you. Yes, they're like, you better get Even as we want. Give us a task about Langa. Two days before, they said you will not be allowed to drink beer in the stadium. Sips beer. Sips, long, oh. sips a long sip for freedom to drink beer when you want. Gwee! Two days. Meanwhile, on top of that, they said, no, you can drink beer only if you are sitting in the VIP booths. They are bagaga. Mubagaga. You have to have money, real money to drink. If you are This like, is Russia in normal sitting. Marcus and Gaetano. You can't drink. You watch it when you're sober. Who watches football when you're sober? How? Who does any sport when you are sober? <laughs> You can't enjoy anything. Uh, no, Marcus. Let us enjoy our No, beer. but you see, you see, and, and Gaetano, think about it this way. If somebody comes to your house, you want them to tell you how to operate. If in your house, you walk around naked. You want to continue doing that even when you get visitors, no? Mm. So, you cannot come and say, now because you have visitors, you must wear clothes. No. So, in their home, they don't drink booze. Marcus, they... Two in other no, game. they've told you, you, if you're rich, you can. Of course, in Qatar, they drink. But again, specific, no, but see, what specific like, places. What I, what I don't like is they say it has to be a specific. If you're going to say, but like, even in if Qatar, you're going to say it's a dry state. Let it be a dry state, totally. No, don't no, no. say because you have money, you're sitting in VIP, you can drink. No. Even in Qatar, the places where you can drink are five star hotels. Yeah, but and they be of course the so, same price but, as an Ipsa. So why? So why are you? Why are you segregating? Where but that's how they operate in their that's town. Very stupid. <laughs> no. No. And in, their, in their town, a beer is the price of an Ipsa. Okay. Having said that. If there are any Qataris watching, <laughs> that's your country, you do what you want. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so, so the when I come to visit you, you don't say, oh, we're watching last round and we saw how you talked about us, but, mm. yeah. they, but they will still not give you booze. They will allow you into the country, but you'll still not drink. Okay. But if you have money, you can go to those five star hotels and enjoy. If you have money for the World Cup, you can pay for the booze and go. Because we can afford ours. Us guys who, like now me, who is in the same category now as Magogo, Fufa, Fuba, that level, hey. we are both guys. You can enter. I just need to call my Google and we talk about it. Let's enjoy our first come out of one night. In Russia. I'm there. Chicole, 
mindfulness. Esa con azón, no stress. Where the night all day to the okay. Van a turico, flexi, pe. The bad bills for less, go flexi, pe. Don't hustle with cues, bills, receiving or sending money. She call it for less. Ne flexi, pe. Hold it. She call it for less with FlexiPay. Dial star 291 hash to transact or download the FlexiPay app to get started. Stanbic Bank. It can be. Stanbic Bank is regulated by the Bank of Uganda and customer deposits are protected by the Deposit Protection Fund of Uganda up to 10 million shillings.